power slap champion. I got everybody gunning from my chin, my neck, my belt. I got to step it up and make sure they don't get any of them. AJ's got a chin, and if you give that kid a clean hit, he delivers big time. I'm here to take over. So I asked for the biggest and baddest in the sport. They delivered. They gave me Wolverine. Oh, Wolverine takes it! Gonna begin on one of the toughest, most vicious strikers. I'm the best, and I don't see nobody knocking me out. I like to let my hand do the talking. He is literally the best slap fighter in the world, but. I want to be the first person to put Wolverine to sleep. There is no losing this time. I'm going to walk out as a light heavyweight champion. You want it? Come and get it. It's International Fight Week, and for the first time ever this year, Power Slap has been added to the agenda here in Las Vegas. And once again, we are at the home of Power Slap, the UFC Apex. A title is on the line. Light heavyweight champ AJ Hintz defending his belt against Wolverine in the main event. The former heavyweight champ has moved down a weight class and is ready for war. Power Slap 3, Hints versus Wolverine is presented by Monster Energy. Unleash the Beast, and this is where it's all going down. Welcome inside the UFC Apex for the third Power Slap event of the year, and now part of a loaded slate of events for the UFC on the biggest fight weekend of the year. And as always, it is my pleasure to be joined by UFC Hall of Famer Michael Bisping, the prelims and the main card have arrived for power slap three this is where things get really interesting my oh friend. listen i cannot wait we saw some sensational finishes on the early prelims but we always get that power slap is action guaranteed knockouts guaranteed and tonight will be no different i cannot wait Eight fights on the card, four on the prelims, four on the main card. Speaking of the main card, let's take a peek right now, shall we? It's Dorian Perez and Dwayne Crespo, number one and two at heavyweight. Alan Klingbeil and Austin Turpin. Klingbeil potentially one win away from a title shot. And then the big fellas going at it to Crazy Hawaiian and Micah Sayuli, former high school football teammates. And then it's the light heavyweight title in the main event, AJ Hintz and Wolverine. A special consideration for the main card fighters tonight, Kudo Popcorn, will be signing each winner as an official brand ambassador for a year. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. The light heavyweight champ is AJ Hintz. Loves to talk smack, yes. as you know, but a tremendous amount of respect for Wolverine, his opponent tonight, who he calls the best slap fighter on the planet. Well, Ron Bater, the Wolverine, listen, he is a legend in his own right. Of course, Power Slap 1 knocked out the legendary Darius the Destroyer. However, Power Slap 2 went up against the bell. What happened? He lost the belt, and now he's come down to light heavyweight because he was too small as a heavyweight. This is his natural weight class, and now he's going up for the belt against AJ Hintz, the man with the strongest neck strength, the strongest neck resistance. The man can pack a slap, he can knock people out, and I cannot wait for him. I can't wait either, my friend. Let's take a look at the light heavyweight rankings. AJ Hintz, of course, the champion of Wolverine. There's a the number one contender. Alan Klingbaugh, will be seeing him tonight as number two. Donovan Cross, Russell Rivero, and Vern Cathy round out your top five. Welterweights in the featured prelims, and it's two of the younger fighters that we have here, Emmanuel Muniz and Cole Young. Muniz from California. Cole Young doesn't have as much experience as Muniz, but both of these guys can get down. Well, Emmanuel Muniz, funnily enough, one of the youngest on the show, but also one of the most experienced, as you say. A very hard hitter. Last time out got the victory. Didn't get the knockout, but he did drop his opponent, Christopher Debo. Two out of three slaps. So as I say, packs a hard slap. Now, his opponent, Cole Young, uh, um, and spurs and first taxidermy. Yes, That's his go. business. He's an avid hunter. But more importantly, he's here fighting for a reason. We've talked about it in the past, but let me remind you. His son has a very rare condition. It's a crippling disease, and sadly, it is terminal. This 
event, Power Slap, allows him to spend more time at home so we can take care of him and give him the love and attention that he deserves and requires. So he's definitely fighting for a cause. This is going to be an interesting one. Son just got out of the hospital after five days there. Very much doing this for him. Three other fights on the prelims. Russell Rivero taking on Bear Bennett. Light heavyweights kicking off the thing tonight and I cannot wait to get it going. Andrew Fields taking on Jewel Scott. Scott, one of the OGs of Power Slap. And then it's El Perro, Aziel Rodriguez against Amir Duradine, the sixth Power Slap appearance for Rodriguez. For more now in our co-main event, let's bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Charlie Arnold. Hello, Dania. Thank you so much. There are several fighters here tonight who share a bit of history one way or another, but none quite like two super heavyweights that we're going to see in action in the co-main event. Listen to this, to Crazy Hawaiian and Micah Suleili, they went to elementary school together. I'm talking ate lunch, played at recess together type of friends. And now it is no coincidence that they are both here in Power Slap at the exact same time. It started three years ago in 2020, the Crazy Hawaiian, he was getting his slap fighting career off the ground and decided to recruit some of the guys he knew to join the circuit. And obviously he got to thinking about his good friend, Micah. So now fast forward three years, these two gentlemen at very different points in their career, the Crazy Hawaiian boasting a 13 and one pro record, while Micah still very much in the infancy stage of his, having only a two and O record. So while the resumes look very different, they are here for the exact same reason tonight. They say they are both super gracious for this opportunity and want to make the most of it. And really, Micah is the one who said it best. He says, when they hit the power slap stage, they put their past behind them because sometimes even brothers fight too. Dan, back to you. Charlie, thank you very much. The rules of Power Slap brought to you by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. For the striker, they must use a flat open hand to the cheek or a clubbing foul will be called. Feet have to be grounded, no pivoting or stepping. You must declare a hand and a number prior to the slap. For the defender, there's no chin tucking or flinching. Flinching is massive, it's a point deduction, and the striker goes, the, goes again. The defender does receive 60 seconds to recover after each strike. Three fouls get you DQ'd. The defender does get two minutes to recover after they've been fouled. Power Slap is using instant replay, and if there isn't a finish, we will go to the judges' scorecards. Here's a look at the stats through almost 85 Power Slap matches. The winners of the coin toss have gone on to win 53% of the time, so it's far from automatic, and 19% of the matches have ended in a first round knockout by the coin toss winner. But that coin toss does have a huge impact on the odds. Where you see the value is up to you. Almost set for our first fight of the night. Power slap veteran Russell Rivero, who brings some of the biggest power in the game, wins the toss and will slap first against Bear Bennett. The Milwaukee MMA gym owner is making his power slap debut. And this is where it will all go down. The power slap table rising out of our power slap stage for the first time tonight. Rivero coming into this one is a minus 400 favorite over Bear Bennett. After coming perilously close to winning the power slap light heavyweight crown the last time out, Russell Rivero is more motivated than ever to stop Bear Bennett and get another title shot. Eager to return to a world title fight as soon as possible, Hawaiian power hitter Russell Rivero had a controversial end to his bout with AJ Hintz in May. But tonight, redemption is there for the taking when he faces power slap newcomer Bear Bennett. Well aware what a win over an established contender like Rivero will do for his career, Milwaukee's Bennett is determined to take whatever his opponent dishes out and fire back even harder as he seeks to not only win the bout, but make a statement and let the rest of the light heavyweight division know that the bear has arrived. Coming up next, Russell Kainoa Rivera takes on Bear Bennett. Fighter Walkouts brought to you by 10X Your World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10X World. This is Bear Bennett, 37 years old from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the current heavyweight champ 
in the cage grappling championship promotion and an MMA gym owner. Yeah, that's right. He owns a, a gym in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Actually trains with Eric Red Schaefer, who is, believe it or not, my first opponent in the UFC a long, long time ago. So this guy's kind of embroiled in the MMA world. Great jujitsu. He said breaking people's jaws is what I do. He's also a high school wrestling coach as well. So he's a busy man. And if he wasn't already busy enough, he has six kids with his seventh on the way. So certainly, you know, a lot to fight for, shall we say. Now, I said, how did you get here? He said, honestly, I have no idea. He went on a podcast. On that podcast, he was talking with Ryan Phillips. Of course, he's one of the coaches. And he suggested you should give this a try. And here he is making his Power Slap debut. By the way, he is uber confident saying that he's going to break Russell's jaw. Russell Kainoa Rivera is back. He won the toss. He will strike first. This guy thought for about 60 seconds that he won the light heavyweight title when he knocked out A.J. Hintz. Only he had a stepping foul. Fouls have been a huge issue for him, Charlie. Well, it's interesting you should say that, Dan, because when I spoke to him this week, he told me he has only one thing on his mind heading into this contest. Can you guess? Do not foul. Like you just said, it's what cost him the light heavyweight title last time out, so now he's determined not to let that happen again. He did. He jokes that he's been trying to talk league officials into letting him use duct tape or maybe even some super glue on his shoes to prevent those steps. Uh, but he's a full-time electrician. He says the key to his success, just staying true to himself. He does not know any other way. So he does not let the trolls dictate how he lives his life. He said, let them run all their mouths all they want does not matter to me. Well, listen, let me tell you, this guy doesn't need to cheat to knock people out. He has natural power. You take one look at him, you see the bill. You see some of the slaps that he's delivered, some of the people that he's put to sleep. The man's a badass. Simple as that. The thing is, he does get a little carried away, gets a little emotional, gets... He doesn't control his slaps, you know what I mean? And last time, I mean, he knocked out AJ Hintz, the light heavyweight champion. He could be the champ right now if he's stuck to the rules. He better do that tonight. Russell Rivero, very motivated. And how about our coaches in the corners tonight? John the Machine Davis in the red corner, Damian DeBell in the blue corner, two of our four power slap champs. Both men very well versed in the sport as we take a look now at the tail of the tape. It's our first match of the night. Two men in their 30s, Bear Bennett, seven years older, three inches taller, and a huge five-inch reach advantage for the underdog, making his Power Slap debut a plus 300 dog. We go to Power Slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on! Welcome to the Power Slap Arena inside the UFC Apex from the Fight Mecca, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Power Slap 3, Hints versus Wolverine. This match is three rounds in the Power Slap light heavyweight division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 204 and one half pounds. Out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Bear Bennett! And in the red corner, he stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Out of Fort Worth, Texas, by way of Eva Beach, Hawaii, Ne. He is the number four ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Russell Kainoha Rivero. Your referee in charge when the action begins, Kerry Hatley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Russell Rivero. So remember, 20% of power slap matches end in the first round with the first striker winning. And, and Russell Rivero is Our one of the hardest center, hitters. Please. I think naturally he has some of the biggest power. For Barry Bennett, this is a daunting situation. First time doing this, 
going up against the guy that Our knocked Rams out the champion the last time, but it was a disqualification. Right hand on three. Yeah. Right hand Russell on Rivera three, was benching over 400 pounds yes. at one point in his life. He's leaned out a little bit. Going to be interesting to see if his focus on not fouling means a lack of power. Major, we'll find out here. Sir. I don't one. think so. Two. Oh! Oh! See, look at that. Goes That's it. down. I mean, Bear's down. I want wow. to see the feet. I mean, oh. he stayed down. Remember, this is That's the gonna be it. MMA fighter. That is going to be it. Step. One and done. He's got a, we got a foul over here. Oh, come on. A foul. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's almost automatic we got a foul. that Russell Rivero Steffi. is going to foul. He could be one of the more dominant fighters in power slap. Watch the feet. Here we go. Yep. Every time. Pivot. One point. One point red stepping. stepping. One point red stepping. One point red stepping. Be sure you keep your feet still, man. He called. Okay. I mean, good. Fortunately for him, Barry Bennett is still in it. If Otherwise, he'd be yeah. disqualified right. again. If Bennett couldn't keep going, he would have won by DQ. Well, Bennett doesn't look good, though. He's looking very hazy, still kind of wobbly on the feet. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking to the bell right now, the current heavyweight champ. He's swaying back and forth. Doesn't look like it from the camera angle, but from where I'm sitting. The doc's giving him yeah. some time here, basically saying you look a little wobbly. He's got a minute. Looks a little wobbly to me. Yeah. I ain't no doctor. I've got one eye, <laughs> but I can see a man wobbling. He can He can use all this time. He has two minutes to recover. Here's a look. Look at this. With the step. Ooh, look at that. Well, we got a slap the him. jaw. I mean, these super slow-mos, it looks like people's faces are made of Play-Doh. It's just wild. You good? Ready? All right, looks like he's going to recover. All right, here we go. Contestants. <laughs> Bear Bennett. His All right. first strike in power slap. Remember, he said he was going to break Russell's jaw. Let's see what kind of power he has. Okay, count in hand. Look at Russell. Looks like right he's just three, dying. Come on, measure. hit me. He's been here before. One. Oh, he's got to wind up more than that. Two. Oh, he said he's got the special technique. Five. Ah. Oh, yeah. Clubbing. Five. Clubbing. I got one point clubbing. One point clubbing. One point clubbing. Okay, you got to keep your hand back, man. You clubs. All right, so both fighters get a foul and get a point deduction. You good? All even. Okay, recovered. Or, or does Rivero win that round? Yeah, well, Rivero. You ready? He uh, had the he had the more impactful slap. Yeah. He sat him down. So okay. I think it's just a nine nine though. I think you're right. My extensive rule right studying that three. I've done. No, you, you deep dive into this all the time. You do a great job. No, that's that producer just told me. <laughs> One. All right, here we go. Two. Oh! Oh! How flinching. is he still on his feet? Blue flinching. He flinched. Oh no. Two I don't know how he got it. Okay. Two Blue for flinching. So you call them. I'll be honest. Out of everyone I've seen up here, yeah. Russell Rivero is the person I would least like to take a slap off. So okay. it looks like Russell, he's rubbing his arm. Okay. I think he hurt his arm when he did it. Maybe his elbow. I got a he gets another shot here because Morning. of yeah. the flinching foul. Yeah, yeah he's, you got 30 seconds. he's in pain. I wonder if he's going to switch arms here. Now, we've seen this before. Okay. Keep your, be sure right, we got 20 seconds. Here we go. Here we go, Blue. He's trying to shake out go. the elbow. Bad. It's either the elbow or the shoulder, but he was grabbing the elbow area. I mean, it's the only Contestant match he has set. tonight. Right? Right? I reckon Five if he lands well, he's got a good chance of putting him to One. sleep. Use the same arm. Two. That's what he's doing. Here we go. That's it. It's, it's over. It's done. Out. One. Fa Three. Fast asleep. Four. Five. Russell he's fast asleep. There's no point counting. He can't hear a damn thing. You're right. Okay. I would not want to get hit by no. Russell Rivera. No, he's he's a sledgehammer. Yeah. No, I had a good. I, I had, had a good, good hit too. The pride of Ava Beach, Hawaii. 
now living in Fort Worth, Texas. Overcame an early foul and gets the KO. Tonight's Monster Knockout brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. Oh, I mean, I'm not surprised that he hurt his arm on the second slap. The amount of power that he generates is freaky, to be honest. And look at the lips still like vibrating and blah, 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 Man. Oh, oh, and he headbutts the, the table. the headbutt of the table. Poor guy, just to add insult to injury. As if it's not bad enough getting knocked out, cold, right TV. Here. Boom. Doink. Oh, not a happy time at uh, Monster Lab Gym in Milwaukee right now. What were the catchers doing? What do you mean? <laughs> Catch him. For, headbutt for, the table. Bottom. Forrest, you fired. You can't fire a Hall, a hall of Famer can't fire a Hall <laughs> no, of Famer. I that's that, that's a Hall of Fame on Hall of Fame crime. He'll, he'll fire me. Ah, uh, smiling Russell Rivero as we send it to Justin Bernard. I'll tell you what, Barrett Bennett is Ladies still and down. gentlemen, referee Kerry Hatley calls a stop to the match in round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Russell Kainoa Rivero. Oh. Russell Rivero, you are one scary man. How did that feel? Oh, I felt good for being back on top of my, foot, my, my feet. I promise I do my best for you guys. It's just a top heavy, so when I come with everything, my feet come up automatic, and I'm like, whoa, so my bad, bro. Well, I know you've got to be feeling good, but how's that elbow? It looked like you might have tweaked it a little bit. Oh, yeah, fuck it. That's not a big, hot head, that guy right there. I give him props, but, you know, brother. He saw that he was cool, respectful guy, you know, but we, we come out here, we all try to make money for our families and support ourselves and we like make big name, man. So shout out to brother Bear, you a solid guy, you know, no hard feelings or whatever. Well, that was a clean, hard hit that led to that KO. Let's take a look at the finish and you can walk me through it. Boom, bingo. Come on, line them up when I put my hand like this. I can kind of square myself. I came back. Boom, I remember Koa told me in the back. I on how I looked at Chin. Two, the third one, I launched on my his chin right there. Bing, down. Bada bing. Uh, now what's next for you, Russell? I mean, you got the knockout, you got the win. This is putting you in the right direction. What do you want to be next? Next, I like take home the belt and all that money. But you know, uh, two, brother Ron, brother AJ, good luck out there, you know. I'll do you guys thing. And I run into you guys eventually, but uh, go out there, stay safe, and make that money, baby. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations. Your winner by knockout, ladies and gentlemen, Russell Rivero. Nice to see Russell Rivero get the win despite the early foul, overcoming the odds. Listen, he's been DQ'd twice before and seemed to be on his way until he gets a vicious, vicious knockout here. Yeah. He's really got to handle that because this man has so much potential. I think he's one of the most entertaining. I think he's one of the most powerful. I mean, there's just, he's a scary man with freakish power. If he can get that taken care of, I see a championship in his future very soon. You almost hit me every time you do that. I'm sorry, I'll be careful. Thank you. I'm Thank doing you. it on purpose. This is the money maker right ah. here. I mean, come on. You're not making much money then. <laughs> Oh, the first match of Power Slap 3 is in the books. If you are watching us anywhere besides Rumble, now is the time to switch over to Rumble.com. Only one fight down. We still have seven to go. Now, you have to see this entire event. The energy, the excitement off the charts in this building. To watch Power Slap 3 live and free, download or just open the Rumble app now. You can go to Rumble.com as well. Rumble's the home of Power Slap and the only place to watch the rest of the card. So I'm gonna say this again. It's like YouTube. If you are watching anywhere else, you gotta go to Rumble now if you wanna see the rest. And if that first match is any indication, we are in for some fireworks. We're coming to you live from the fight capital of the world. And starting right now, Rumble's the only place you can watch the rest of the card. Get there now if you're watching on another platform. Hey, Vinny, where'd you get that shirt? A sticker wheel. What do you think I got? I don't know. Okay. Can I get one? You can get whatever you want. 
Can I get one with a shrimp on it? You know some people are allergic to shrimp. Custom t-shirts, now at Sticker Mill. Try one for only $19 plus free shipping. exciting sport that you've ever seen in your life. Bars that fly, tracks that thrill. Wow. These guys are crazy. Oh, no way. Raise the real. Travis Hustrana. Chase Elliott. Nine to Houston. Check out Rumble Sports for live and free action sports.